being with us still, I do want to start with Michelle, who got top billing tonight. That was, as yes. Alan was saying, a very empathetic, emotional speech, really speaking to this moment. And, and it really was about hope. It, it sounded also like it was aimed at undecideds, at, at really getting out the vote. Will that work? Yeah, Nastasia, the, the Michelle Obama speech was incredibly powerful, and she is very, very popular. In fact, if you've been watching some of the, the back and forth on talk shows about who would be vice president, many Republicans said if she were vice president, mm. Joe Biden would win in terms of his pick. So uh, there's a real concern amongst Republicans that Michelle Obama can be devastating to their chances to win. And she speaks to, to America across the board. So uh, her lines, her cutting into Donald Trump's character, her argument that he basically has failed to deliver and should not return for a second term, that is a powerful indictment from a woman who has major credibility mm. across the country at a very high level. Well, let's then turn to Bernie Sanders, who was the other headliner tonight. He took a very different approach in terms of tone, much yes. more of a series of direct attacks on Trump. I mean, at one point saying that he golfs while Rome burns. This election is about preserving democracy. Uh, Alan there was saying that tying him to Joe Biden could potentially actually backfire. Could it? Well, Al Alan's right in that that's how the Republicans and Donald Trump are going to try to portray this. But the mission for Bernie Sanders tonight was to really ensure that the base of the party is mobilized and going out to vote in November. That was something that was weak last, uh, last election cycle mm -hmm. four years ago. And Democrats, we believe that if we had had the kind of turnout in 2016 that we did in 2012, we would have won. It would have been close, but we would have won. So we want to get back to that and critical, and that is ensuring that the base voters, the Sanders voters, do come out. So the Republicans don't want that. They're going to try to tie us in, in knots, try to separate us. I think what Bernie Sanders did tonight is to say, no, my voters come out, support Joe Biden, mm -hmm. and we can deal with those attacks when we're more, we're more unified. And, and uh, he really did a, a fantastic job on that front. Well, Joel, we heard from a number of notable Republicans tonight, and we are going to be hearing from another number of them over the course of the next four days. Do you think that could be strategic here and bringing more voters across the line? Will that be effective? You know, if you were an alien coming into uh, the country, the, the mm -hmm. world, uh, uh, for the first time coming to the United States to watch this, you would see a diverse set of speakers. You would see Bernie Sanders. You would see John Kasich the former governor of Ohio, mm -hmm. who's a, a very conservative Republican, you would get the sense that the broad swath of America supports Joe Biden. And, and I think that's the message, and that's going to continue to be the message, that this is an inclusive party, a big tent, and that Joe Biden is welcoming of diverse communities and diverse thought, and Republicans included, yes, and liberal Democrats included as well. They'll all have a seat at the table. If you can get that message across every night, it's going to be a very welcome welcoming uh, argument for voters, in particular independent voters in swing states as we get closer to the election. Joel Rubin there, former U.S. Deputy Assistant, Assistant Secretary of State. Thanks so much for joining us again here on Al Jazeera, Joel. Thank you. As we